E aí galera, tudo bem? Estamos de novo aqui no DCS World AH64D. AH64D. É, o produtor Senes de vídeo do DCS, o Matt Egner, postou mais um vídeo, pessoal. É, parece que agora resolveu trabalhar, né? Agora toda semana ele posta um vídeo. Deve ser por causa do, da data de lançamento prevista para o final desse mês, né? 31 de março. Vamos naquele esqueminha, vamos lá no fórum do DCS. Só acessar rapidinho aqui que eu deixei pré-carregado. Vamos ver o que, é que ele colocou para nós hoje. Mini atualizações. Deixa eu ver aqui. Naquele esqueminha, ele coloca a descrição toda aqui, ó. É, deixa eu ver isso aqui. A partir... Ah, é do rover, ou seja, vai decolar. Vai fazer o vídeo de decolar, né? É, decolar ou pausar? Decolar, filho. A partir da altitude e velocidade, permite, babá. Não, é um vídeo de pouso. Pousar agora, pessoal. É ruim, hein? É, babá, bela. Beleza, o vídeo dele eu dei uma olhada e parece que é um vídeo de 10 minutos. Então, para não perder tempo e jogar a conversa fiada aqui, acessa aqui o fórum do DCS e leia aqui para vocês terem uma noção. Geralmente, toda vez, ele coloca a descrição do vídeo toda aqui nas mini atualizações. Vamos ver o vídeo lá? Naquele esqueminha, pessoal, não esqueça de compartilhar o vídeo aí, não. Sabe como é que é o pessoal de YouTube? Bora lá, Matt Egner, ele está fazendo um vídeo agora para nós do H64 sobre pausar o H64. Bora lá. Vou colocar a tela cheia. Bora lá, let's fly! Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in this DCS A864D video, we're going to learn how to land the 64. First, we're going to do a rolling landing approach, and then we'll do an approach to hover landing. In the manual, we have the by the book directions on how to do this, but I'll use a modified version that personally works best for me. Now, the key is just like rockets and takeoff, there's different techniques, and use the one that works the best for you. We're here at H3 Airfield in western Iraq, and we'll do a complete circuit. And along the way, we'll talk more about maneuvering the aircraft and also about attitude hold. Okay, so I'm doing a combination hover runway takeoff, and let's head down the runway and get some airspeed. I'm going to align my flight path vector at the end of the runway and start uh, adding some collective to build up airspeed. During the landing approach, you're going to want to be in aerodynamic trim, meaning you're going to want to keep the uh, trim ball you know, pretty much near the center of those two lines at the top with a high action display at the bottom of the HDU. Okay, checking left, now let's come left. Okay, let's come about uh, 90 degrees. And we'll roll out here. And we'll place the uh, flight path vector on the horizon. So at this point, I'm pretty much in aerodynamic trim. So let's talk about changing altitude. Uh, the first way is we can simply pull back on the cyclic. And we do that, we increase altitude. Our torque stays the same, but we lose airspeed. Let's push back on cyclic. The other way is we can pull pitch or raise collective. That increases the altitude, increases torque, but our airspeed stays about the same. And now we're lower the collective to come back down. And as you probably remember, we have our uh, altitude tape along the right side of the HDU, along with the vertical velocity indicator. To increase speed, we simply need to pull the collective and push forward on the cyclic to keep the flight path vector on the horizon. So you can see increased torque and increased airspeed, but our altitude is about the same. Slow down, we'll lower the collective and pull back on the stick to slow. Okay, let's check left, and we'll enter the downwind. If possible, you always want to be landing into the wind. If you press left on the force trim switch, we'll enter attitude hold modes and we'll have different functions based on our airspeed. If between 4 and 40 knots, it will hold our velocity. But if over 40 knots, it will hold our attitude. If you're in attitude mode and you decelerate through 30 knots, we'll automatically switch to velocity mode. If, however, you're in velocity mode and you accelerate through 40 knots, it will automatically switch to attitude mode. 
Both transitions assume you have not force trimmed. The boxed airspeed on the HDU indicates that you're in attitude hold. Looking to the left, we can see the airfield. So let's go ahead and enter the base leg. For me at least, I like to enter the pad around 500 feet, and this gives me a good look at the landing area. And up ahead here, I got a dirt road, and this lines up runway, so I'll probably use this as my guide for the uh, final approach. Alright, so I'm relatively lined up here. So I want my approach to be around 40 knots. I'm going to be looking for a VVI of anywhere between 100 and 500 feet per minute. I'm um, a bit of a grandma, so I'm going to be shooting for around 200. We're going to uh, fly to place the flight path vector on the HDU uh, over the runway where we want to land. Actually, a little bit behind it in case we under arc. And generally, we want to land on that first third of the runway. So again, I'm looking around uh, 42 knots about uh, 200 feet per minute and again just lining up the uh, flight path vector uh, on the runway a little bit behind where I want to touch down. Okay, now that I'm in close, I'm going to start uh, killing some of my airspeed by lifting the nose and decreasing the collective a little bit. And at 50 feet, I'm going to trim to nose to tail, so I'm going right down the runway. Okay, 20 feet, 30 knots, 5 feet, and I'm down. And now just uh, roll it forward with the uh, tail wheel being locked. And I can uh, pull back on the cyclic uh, to break. Okay, that's a rolling runway landing. Okay, so now let's take a look at an approach to a hover landing. And this is going to look a lot like the runway landing. So we're going to approach at 40 knots. Uh, we want a, a vertical velocity descent of anywhere between 200 to 500 again. I like to, you know, come in a little slow. Uh, we're going to place the uh, flight path vector, the FPV, just behind the landing area. In this case, the home plate symbol, which is waypoint one. I have a nice centered ball. And like before, I'm going to be using my collective to move the uh, flight path vector up and down, and then using the cyclic left and right to move it left and right. And 
It's up to you, of course. Uh, you may prefer to use force trim for the rudder in this case, but for me, I tend to uh, prefer to use it manually the entire time. Now, unlike the rolling runway landing, I'm slowing down a lot earlier to give myself time to establish my hover. The key is don't rush it. You're not chicken hawk doing a hot LZ dust off. As we get closer here, you can see I'm really flying to place the flight path vector just behind that landing pad. The combination of the pedals, the cyclic, and the collective. I'm also starting to pull the stick back a little bit more to kill off some more of the airspeed. Down to 20 knots. Now at 50 feet, I'm going to go nose to tail trim. Just flying the flight path vector. Setting where I want to lay it down. Just past. Okay, 10 knots. Now I've gone to hover mode just because the flight path vector has com gone completely saturated. And now I'm just using my symbology to place it down a little roughly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. É isso aí, pessoal. O seu Matt Egner já está pousando a aeronave. Descer a surge H64D. É, mais um vídeo aí, pessoal. O, o produtor Sene de vídeo do DCS, o Matt Egner, acabou de postar um vídeo sobre pousar a aeronave. Ele deu duas opções aqui. Rolar e pausar aquela pousagem de hold que eles falam, né? Eu acho que a palavra é essa. Mas é isso aí, não esquece de dar o joinha, não esqueça de compartilhar o vídeo, pessoal. Agora o pessoal tá postando o vídeo toda semana. Agora o pessoal tá trabalhando, né? O prazo de entrega tá terminando, né? Se ele tá postando muito vídeo, aqui é já tem quase tudo pronto, imaginamos eu, né? Melhor aquele esqueminha, pessoal. Dá uma força no canal e no vídeo. DCS Word, H64D. Mais um vídeo, pessoal, e a, a hora tá chegando, valeu, fui!